everyone. I am out here in Orange County today at one of my favorite theaters that actually shows smaller films. And I came out here because I wanted to see a very unique and special film that I've heard a lot of good things and a lot of bad things about. The film is called Escape from Tomorrow. It's been a film that I've heard about for a few months now that I've been very excited to see, even with all the not so positive things that I've heard about it. But it's been a film that I've really wanted to see and uh, because I love Disneyland. I go to Disneyland uh, at least two times a month. I've had a pass since 2008. It is getting pretty pricey at Disneyland, so I don't know how long I'm going to have a pass for. But I was really interested to see this film because these filmmakers actually went on to Walt Disney World and Disneyland and shot illegally this movie with actors and it looks like they shot more on uh, Walt Disney World. I haven't been there, so I didn't really recognize a lot of the parts of Disneyland. But when they were on Disneyland, I did recognize it. I was like, oh, that's so unique. I wonder if I was there on one of the days they shot, especially if they shot within the last five years. So yeah, this story tells a very unique story. It's about a young family with young kids, and they're experiencing their last day at Walt Disney World. They don't really say that they go to Disneyland, but you know, clearly in the film, I did see shots of Disneyland. But uh, things are not going their way, and it seems like they're going straight down to imaginary hell. This is such a weird film. It's shot in black and white. And there's a lot of things that I enjoyed about this film, and there's a lot of things that I did not. So let's see if I get the things that I did not first out of the way. The things I didn't like, some of the things about this film, is that some of it seemed like it was shot on a really bad green screen. Some of the shots they probably couldn't have got at Disneyland or Walt Disney World, they looked like they went into a studio and shot it, and it just comes off very, very phony. It kind of took me out of the experience, and for that, I did not like those times of the film. Some of the plot is kind of weird, especially that the main character, who I do like, and I'll get into that, but he starts following these two young French girls, and I don't know if it, it just came off as really creepy. I don't know what the point of that part of the film was. I don't know what, where they were going. I don't know what the filmmakers were trying to say in that portion of the film. I think that's really about it. That, that I mean, okay, and, the, and probably the last half of the movie. I mean, the last 30 minutes of this movie goes right off the rails, and I have no idea what was going on or what was the reasons, and any explanations were not even there to... I don't know, it just looked like the filmmakers... I don't know what they were doing near the end. But that's okay, because I think there's a lot more pluses in this film than there is minuses. And for me, the pluses are, I really like the main actor, the guy who plays the father in this film. He is so interesting to watch as an actor. I've never seen him before, and he does a really good job of being this really, really sad individual that, uh, I felt something for. I really felt concerned for this man and I, <laughs> I just wanted him to get out of Disneyland or Walt Disney World out alive. And I felt sad for his family. I really felt just, this, it just, I've never seen Disneyland in this light before. And it is such a strange and unique and fascinating experience. Um, I just like that they did went and shot this on location at Disneyland and I, some of the shots are just really unique and cool They're like man, how did they get that shot or how did they get that uh, some of the stuff that I felt like it was on green screen That kind of was bad, but there was other shots where it, it really looked really cool I mean, I was like that looks really cool and I like I like the whole dream aspect of this movie It did feel like a nightmare slash dream that uh, I was quite enjoying and didn't want to wake up from. Even near the end where it just gets really, really strange. Now, this film is not rated, but if I was going to give it a rating, I would give it a rating of R. There is some nudity and some language, but I think it's worth at least checking out once in your life, especially if you're a Disneyland fan and you just want to see Disneyland in a very strange, uh, strange, you know, like, because I love going to Disneyland, but I also love just the strangest, strangest about it. The fact that, you know, you step away from your real life and you step into this world and it's all perfect and happy and, and as for me it just feels like I'm going back to something that I enjoyed when I was a child. So that's why I, I enjoy going to it. But I love seeing the families and all the chaos that happens from when people take their families to go to Disneyland. It's kind of surreal. And this is a very surreal film. It does give you uh, that feeling of, like, just utter creepiness. And I think the filmmakers succeeded in that. I wish they succeeded on a whole. This is a very extremely exciting and interesting film, but it's extremely uneven as well. 
I did like it and I would recommend it but be cautious it's not going to be for everyone I don't know where it's going to be playing I, I had to go out of my way to see the film and I'm glad I did I'm really glad I saw the film at least once I don't know if I'll ever revisit it it's a it's it's, it's a mess it's not a perfect film but uh, I'm glad I saw it I really am so I'm going to give the film Escape from Tomorrow three stars. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love the good movies and see strange movies, I highly recommend you check out MoviePass.com. Sadly, the theater behind me does not accept MoviePass, but that's okay. It was definitely worth it. Alright, talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Have a magical day. Yes.